Hey guys! Okay, so I have not been making videos for about three weeks now. And what happened was I went to the beach and unfortunately got sand in my camera lens, which resulted in my camera not working pretty much in a nutshell. But I got today's my birthday, August 19th, and today I got a new camera. And um, the lighting is kind of bad in here because I have like yellow walls and there's no natural lighting because it's nighttime and you know blah blah blah. Anyways, um, I got I have a small haul for you guys. And let me first start by saying yes, I do have colored my hair. My bangs are blonde, and the rest of it's still black. You know, plain Jane. But let's go ahead and get started on this haul. Now, the first thing that I picked up was a foundation. And I decided to go with the CoverGirl Clean because the Revlon Photo Finish or Photo Ready didn't have a color that matched me well enough that was in stock. I looked at the um, Rich Ginger, I think it was called, but it was way too pinky for me. But I got this one in Soft Honey, and I'm really impressed with this foundation. To be such an inexpensive foundation, it really, really covers well. And I put this on with my MAC um, 188 brush, and it did a wonderful, wonderful job. And I'm so impressed with it. It was, I was so shocked. Now, the only thing about that foundation, or this foundation, is it does have a smell kind of like a face wash, which, you know, that's really not a big deal to me because I wash my face with it. Why would I care if my foundation smelled like it? But whatever. Um, the next thing I got was the Maybelline Mineral Power um, Mineral Foundation. Now, this is the powder, and I really like this. Um, I wouldn't necessarily compare this to Bare Minerals, but I do like how it goes on and how it looks on my face and everything. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. The next thing I got I'm super excited about, and I could talk about this for like an hour, but it's the Wet n Wild um, Six Eyeshadows in Vanity. And that's what it looks like. And on this side you get shimmer eyeshadows, and on this side you get matte, which is really, really, really cool to me. So you open it up, and you have a matte white, a yellowish shimmer white, a um, matte light kind of taupe brown, and then you get a, I'll call this like a shimmery yellow gold, and then you get like a shimmery brownish kind of, has a little bit of purple tint to it, but it's not like overwhelming purple, and then this gorgeous, gorgeous like eggplant color, and these are really shockingly pigmented, like that's the eggplant. And then this is the um, shimmery brown right here. And let's see, lighting's kind of going off and in. But you get six of these, and I actually am wearing these um, on my eyelids right now, on my eyes right now. And what I did was I put the shimmery yellow right here in on my brow bone, and then the matte brown on my lid, the shimmery brown in my crease, and then this eggplant kind of on the outer corner. And I really, really, really like these eyeshadows. And it was only $5 for six of them for like this thing. So I think I'm actually going to go back because they had a, like two other ones that I really liked. So I think I'm going to go back later and get those. But the next thing I got was the Milani's Mineral, Milani Mineral Blush. And this is, oh, can you guys see? Say wait for the lighting. Wait for it. Um. Anyways, this is in the color 202 Sunset Beach, and it's kind of like a corally tangerine color. And I absolutely love this up against my skin tone because, and it's really actually pigmented. And I've been looking for like a cor a nice darker coral for a while because I am kind of tan, and some of the lighter corals don't really look that great on me. And this is matte. It has no shimmer in it, no shimmer whatsoever. And I really do like that because I'm really not normally big on matte blushes, but I really do like this. Let's see what else to get. Oh, yes. And then I got this Wet n Wild lipstick, and this is in the color 900B. And this is like a matte nude. Can you guys see that? Let me pull it away. Let me swatch this for you guys. That'll probably be better. Wait for it. The lighting is gone from like yellow to normal. And 
um, there it is right there. I don't know if you can see it very well. But I actually am wearing it on my lips. And it's so gorgeous. I love this. I'm so, and it was $3. $3, guys. So I was so happy to find that. And I got this lipstick to pair with it. And this is like a Maybelline, one of the plumping ones. And this is in the color 105. And the sticker's really tiny. So I don't know if it has a color or not. And I just put this on top. And kind of give it like a glossy, plumped nude look. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And let's see, what else did I get? Oh, yeah. And then I got one of the Maybelline Volume XL Seduction Plum Plumping Lip Color. And this is in the color 120 Peach Plump. And let me just show you guys what it looks like. Can you see? It's a really nice kind of peachy pink. Kind of like the color of the inside of your lips. So if you want something kind of natural, this is a really good color. And I like that lipstick. Um, the next thing that I got, I think this is the last thing I got. Ooh, I think so. Yeah. It's the CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast. And I'm not sure what color this was in. The package is like everywhere on my bed, but I'm not going to get up. That would be too distracting. But one end is like this. And this is kind of like a beigey color. And you can see it right here. And then the other one, the other end is like a nice brown. Now what I did was I lined up underneath my eyes with this brown because I'm not big on brown liner on top. Because it just does not look good on me. But, um, and then I primed my eye with this end and then put the shadows on top. And I think that's actually what I'm going to do instead of wearing these, like, standalone. Because I'm not a fan of cream shadows. But, you know what? Whatever. And I really do like this. I think it was a pretty good investment. Let's see. That is all that I got today. But, um... Let's see, pretty small haul, but I'm really happy with the stuff I got. You know, I didn't want to really just like blow a bunch of money on stuff that I wasn't sure that I'd like. But now that I know that I like some of the stuff, I can go back and get, you know, different colors or whatever. But that is all for right now, guys. And I want to um, let you know that more videos will definitely be coming. Um, shout out to Lori. Thank you so much for your messages and concern with me not making videos, but I'm back. I promise. I never go away for too long. I promise. And I'm really happy to be back making videos. It made me so sad that I couldn't make them for you guys with, you know, me just getting up to like 200 and something subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you guys. You're awesome. And um, just leave in the comments below if you want to know anything more about these products or let me know what you thought. And let me know what you think of my hair. Because I'm not, you know, I'm kind of digging it, but you might not be. Let me know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you later. Bye.